My dad always told me stories about a hidden world where brave warriors watch over and protect us. Isn't that cool? He always said, just because you haven't seen something doesn't mean it's not there. For me, animation ideas always start with a place that you can, you know, you can only go in animation. So that's part of the challenge. My friend Bill Joyce and I started talking about this, this world um, outside in the forest. We were looking at pictures of, you know, these little worlds in the forest that made the forest look like an alien planet where you see coronations and par parades and celebrations and weddings and funerals. And that was just, that was it for me. I, like, let's go there. Where are we? Oh, it's where this guy lives. Most stompers just come and go, but this guy's relentless. Wait, stompers? Yeah. You know, like us, but big and dumb and slow, always stomping on things. <laughs> He's my dad. I'm a stomper. What happened? You got shrunk? Yes! You know, for me, an animation character isn't just the voice actor. It's a combination. It's a collaboration from a lot of people. You know, the actors bring their voice and the inspiration for the way that the animators are going to move it. And so although our cast is pretty stellar, I think if you listen to their voices, it's hard to watch our characters and decide sometimes whose voice that is. That's important to me because I don't want to be anybody watching the movie and thinking of somebody else's face. What's going on, baby girl? Talking snails. Actually, I'm a slug. No shell over her, baby. Beyonce, for instance, I wanted a huge kind of contemporary, iconic queen, and, and you know, we talked to her and she was interested, so boom, done. I think her voice, she's like the Morgan Friedman of women. Her voice has this incredible resonance, you know, presence and solidity that makes this queen of ours sound legit. Nice one! You're still in my moves, kid! Your Majesty, come with me! Take her to safety! You're totally my hero! Some people can come in to the booth and, and in front of the mic and they try it a few times. How do you like this or how do you like that? And, you know, you work it that way. And Christoph came in and he just has to inhabit the role. You know, I'll read my line you know, with as much effect as I can, and then I'll look up, and there's Christoph looking at me because he's mad, <laughs> you know? And, and, and uh, it was intimidating, but it was very fun. I am going to destroy the forest, but I'm only going to do it once, so try to pay attention. I hope that what they get are some surprises and, and um, some emotional satisfaction and, and a thrill ride a, a, along the way and some and some fun. I had the most messed up dream. They were talking slugs and tiny little soldiers and... <gasps> Hello. Aw, oh, man.